There are so many reasons for why so many people flat out fail to manifest their desires, whether it's a person, a circumstance, an event, an experience, or finances. It reaches from attaching detrimental meanings to unfortunate circumstances, forcing, manipulating, micromanaging, and ignoring instead of persisting, to tolerating unwanted things instead of truly radically accepting them. There are many, many more reasons, core wounds, traumas, and whatnot. But if we take all of those many, many, many individual reasons, put them into one pot and boil them down, we get to the main culprit, an inability or massive struggle at the very least to maintain the embodiment of the desired state. Now, regardless of the individual reasons for why it is so hard for people to maintain that state, the main overarching and underlining root cause, so to say, for this is always emotional dependency. The things that we have the strongest attachment to are usually the things that don't go as we please. But our pesky little attachment comes causes us to seek comfort and fulfillment in the external, become dependent on the external, look into the 3D for changes and improvement rather than internally. Even though we logically understand that the current manifestation is the consequence of past, now irrelevant, thoughts, actions, and feelings. It is our attachment that creates a dependency to an outside source for the sake of internal fulfillment. And the one and only solution to that issue is the complete opposite of it, emotional independence. Now, in order to achieve emotional independence and cultivate emotional resilience so that we're not getting thrown off so easily in the future, all we gotta do is practice the embodiment of that desired state or the alignment with the feeling of the desire fulfilled. And we have to do it as often as necessary to really get there dominantly. Alignment with this desire fulfilled feeling, embodiment of that state is quite easy. And if you don't believe me, go watch this video where I demonstrate how to do it. I'm gonna put it at the end of this video. So once you have that feeling, you're generally no longer required to do anything about this. You leave it there and you act on inspiration. However, when life hits you, when your senses tell you that this is all bullshit and it's not true, when you in some way, shape or form, for whatever reason, get thrown off of that feeling, when the feeling surrounding the topic that you're working on manifesting changes for any reason whatsoever, you need to go back to step one and align yourself with it again. And in order to be able to do this again and again and again, and if necessary, again, until it has solidified, until it has become your dominant state, feeling towards that which you're trying to manifest. You need to practice radical acceptance of all the little circumstances that show up that go against it. Nobody, including yourself, will ever know who you truly need to become, what you truly need to learn, gain, change, how you need to evolve in order to actually really be the person that really has that what you now are lacking. You don't know what is currently in the way. You may have ideas related to trauma, related to bad experiences, related to crappy beliefs, but you will never fully know what chemicals in your brain, what neural connections in your brain are acting in support or unfavorable towards achieving, accomplishing that what you want. So you gotta be okay with having to face a challenge or two or ten on the way there. You allow yourself the time time to become that. So whenever you encounter a circumstance, a thing that goes against your desire fulfilled, that gives you evidence that this is not happening, you will not achieve this. You have to be the sky about it. You have to recognize this circumstance as yet another layer 
within yourself, being ready to dealt with, be dealt with, to be dealt with. Another wall within yourself has manifested in form of this circumstance for the sake of you breaking it down because it is ready. You are ready to break it down and to get closer to the person that you want to be, very important, that has all of the things that you are currently lacking. I know it's annoying and it's okay that it is annoying, but you have to learn how to deal with your emotions and you have to learn how to process them and you have to learn how to be the freaking sky. And you have to actually truly accept things, not tolerate them. Tolerating something means that you have acknowledged all the aspects and the connections and the meanings and the whatnot in your mind on a mental logical realm, but you have not changed who you are towards it. So when you tolerate something that you don't like, you are unintentionally compromising yourself and it keeps manifesting for you. Acceptance means that in the moment where it happens, you accept, fully acknowledge that this is what it is. Step one, logical. Acknowledge how you think about this, your opinion, and acknowledge your feelings about them. Step two is to just Allow your feelings to come up and be there with you. No judgment, no explanation, no justification. So many people say, oh, I have processed this already, yet they are still affected by it. You have not processed it. You have acknowledged it mentally, and now you're tolerating it. You're compromising yourself, and you're living with this while still being bothered. True processing leads to acceptance, and acceptance feels like this is a non-issue. It's not bothering me anymore. It's not a thing for me anymore. There is no reactability within me towards that thing anymore because I quite frankly do not give a shit about it. It becomes irrelevant because I have accepted it fully, truly, mentally and emotionally. And this is the this is the crux of it all, really. People only go into the mental. People are like, oh yeah, uh, this makes me sad and I hate this because this, 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 this. You may cry, you may vent, you may kick a tree or break something, but you're still explaining it to yourself, to others, rationalizing it, trying to find reasons, blah, 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 blah. Shut it. You have to, in order to really do this correctly, you have to shut the fuck up, okay? You have to zip it. The rest needs to come from your body, not your freaking brain. You have spent so much time already analyzing the living shit out of the situation, Okay, giving it meaning, justifying it in front of yourself and others, explaining it, trying to be relatable to others, having others on your side, understanding you, blah, blah, all of this shit. You have done this enough, okay? You do not have to justify or explain your feelings in order to make them okay. They are there. You feel like this. Your brain has already figured it out. Otherwise, you would not feel like this. You have already attached the meaning. You have already analyzed everything subconsciously without you even realizing it but by, by the time the second you have a feeling you have already done all of this anyways you have the right to feel like shit for no logical reason it's okay to be sad it is okay to cry disney style ugly cry without it needing to be reasonable you do not have to explain Explain why you're sad. You do not have to explain why you're jealous. You do not have to explain why it fucking hurts. All you gotta do is allow it to hurt. 